No makeup on my face, that can only mean one thing. It's hair dyeing time. Close your eyes, would you dream for me? Some paradise, tell me who you see, cause I... So the last color I did was quite a while ago. I think it might have been March. Over a month ago, for sure. And I did a copper color last and it kind of faded out to this. I have roots like crazy and oh it's um so today i'm going to be dyeing it again and i'm going to take you with me as usual i love showing you guys my process so today i'm going old school um i think i'm gonna bring back the reds or the dark maroon vibes because i really love it i really miss it i enjoyed my brief copper moment but i'm still kind of a, i'm kind of a red girl so i have now fully transformed to a schwarzkopf girl i love 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 or have recently been loving the schwarzkopf product i finally got my hands on their most recent <gasps> color chart this is the thing that drives me crazy okay look at this and we're gonna be going for reds Today we're going to be going on the dark maroon tones. The colors I'm going to be using today, 499 mixed with 488 and then 688 on my ends. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be mixing 499 in equal parts with 488. So this is just a bit darker and less red. I'm applying this just roughly around here, which is where my lightest bits are. From like my mid shaft to all the way my ends, going in with nothing but 688 which is kind of like a pure red it doesn't really have any mahogany in it so on these they look quite bright um but because i actually have color underneath so i actually have already something on my hair they're not going to be as dark and as potent they're going to be kind of like a muted version of what you have here that is something that i want you guys to take into consideration if you are going to dye your hair whatever you see on a color chart has most definitely been put on super blonde hair 688 might look so bright um, and then when you actually come to apply it it might not look as bright so anyway let's get into the video
Hi guys. So it turns out I'm a bit bad at um, cleaning off dye from my skin, which is why I still have quite a bit left around my hairline. So we're going to just pretend that it's not there. My scalp is still very much bloody red, but the color looks insane. I slept with braids, so I don't know yet how it actually looks because this is just kind of how I slept. But we're gonna undo it, style our hair a bit and see how it all turns out. So let's explain a bit what's going on. So here is how the color turned out. It is phenomenal. It is exactly what I was hoping for. So I'm actually really, really happy with how the color turned out. I'm really happy with like the root and rest of hair blendage. And then I put the 688 all over the rest of my hair. And this is kind of the color that I am left with. It's very similar to this one, actually. Can you guys see that? Obviously, I knew that the 688 wasn't going to be as vibrant. In fact, it's quite a bit duller. I also mixed in a bit of 488 to darken it a bit, which is pretty accurate to 588. So actually, never mind. It's, it's quite cool. It's quite similar. I'm going to leave the entire procedure, the hair color mixture and everything down description box below. As I said, these were all by Schwarzkopf, the Schwarzkopf Igora Royal. They are not the same as the store-bought ones. Do not go into a supermarket and say, <laughs> so I'm gonna go for, go to a stylist. If, you know, you're not qualified, if you're qualified, go ahead and use, you know, salon grade dyes, but ideally go to a salon and ask them for their input. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a go and I will see you in my next video.